Hi there, my name is Jessica Sane. I work in NASA's Office of STEM Engagement through the um, InSpace Agreement, NASA STEM Pathway Activities Consortium for Education through Oklahoma State University. And I'm here to talk to you guys today about some of the resources that we have in NASA's Office of STEM Engagement um, that educators and parents can use um, to supplement some of our upcoming launches with um, NASA's Commercial Crew Program. So like I said, I'm with NASA's Office of STEM Engagement. This is formerly known as NASA Education. Right now we have four um, themes that we are highlighting under what we call Next Generation STEM. Um, so the first one being Commercial Crew Program, that's what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today. Um, we also have Moon to Mars, where we are highlighting resources as we go forward to the moon and on to Mars um, for students that are part of the Artemis generation as we get geared up for those launches. We also have Small Steps to Giant Leaps, which is a theme that highlights the new experimental aircraft um, that is coming out. And this one is, is centered around Langley Research Center. And then we also have STEM on Station, which I believe there's another virtual presentation that you guys can watch today. Um, or for the virtual conference that highlights what we are celebrating as the year of recognition, which is 20 years of continuous human presence on the International Space Station, um, which happens on November 2nd, 2020. So what is the Commercial Crew Program? Just to give you guys a really quick rundown of what it is, we've been, um, NASA has been working with commercial companies Boeing and SpaceX to return human spaceflight to US soil. Um, to and from the International Space Station. So we haven't been launching our NASA astronauts from America since 2011, which was when the space shuttle retired. And since then, we've been launching our astronauts um, on the Soyuz vehicle with the help of our partners over at uh, Roscosmos. Um, so we're hoping to return that capability to the US. Both Boeing and SpaceX, which are our commercial partners, have completed um, flight tests without humans on board. And then we are super excited um, because SpaceX will be uh, helping us with our NASA's SpaceX Demonstration 2 mission that is coming up no earlier than mid to late May. Um, we're gonna have some resources that um, educators and parents can use to build on this excitement with their students and their kiddos um, as we watch our NASA astronauts launching from um, Cape Canaveral once again. Here we go, oh, a little too fast. Um, so virtual field trips in this video is not gonna work and the volume would have been too loud anyways, but we have a series of, well, actually it might work. Um, we have a series of virtual field trips um, that students can take that are in complete 360 mode. Um, so this allows you to really look around and immerse yourself in all aspects of commercial crew program. Um, we have one video called Preparing to Launch America, which is an overview of the program. We have one specifically for the Crew Dragon with SpaceX, one for the Boeing CST-100 Starliner, train like an astronaut, you get to go inside the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, which is our, our infamous pool that we have where our astronauts train for spacewalks, a new era of space flight, which highlights the history behind human space flight, and then launching from Kennedy Space Center, which talks about different components of launch. So you can see here that it's a really cool opportunity you don't have to have a VR headset to do this. You can just pull it up in your phone on YouTube and go into 360 mode, or you can plug it into your VR headset, which is really cool. Um, and what I'm showing you right now is the highlight video. Um, so this one just goes through um, all the different videos and does short clips of each of those. So we also have K-12 lesson plans. We have the Extronaut. Um, which is a parachute engineering design challenge. This one specifically has a commercial crew twist because the students have to go through a series of milestones and get them improved by the commercial crew teacher. Um, and once they gain that approval, they can then go on to the next step of the engineering design process. There's a one for grades three through four, so elementary focus, and then there's one that's grades three or five through 12, which has a, a whole variety of different scaffolding opportunities for you to be able to meet the needs of your students across those broad ranges of grades, um, the broad range of grades. And this one has a really cool component where students can use live data from their egg drop to improve their different iterations for the final result, um, which is when they're gonna, they get their final um, uh, certification, kind of similar to how our commercial companies are doing with the commercial crew program. 
We also have sound on a string, uh, which is where students are exploring how sound travels. There's two different versions of this activity for elementary school kiddos. There's a condensed 60 minute version where students are just rotating through centers to explore the different components. And there's also a full um, inquiry based learning uh, unit where students are going through different aspects of sound and how it's traveling with clarity and whatnot um, for a week long unit. And then we also have the crew orbital docking, which is called our coding stem, where students are using bot block based programming in Scratch or Snap um, to dock one of the spacecraft to the international docking adapter um, through that block based programming. There's a whole um, variety of constraints that the teachers can, can select from in the students' programming so that they can meet their students' needs. We also have printable resources. So we have an A to Z activity book that students can use for the primary grade kiddos. And then we also have the Astronaut Yet Storybook that was just released. Um, and this is a free digital download that accompanies the Sound on a String Educator Guide. Um, it's a really cool book, so I recommend checking that out. And then we have some digital resources as well. So we have the Rocket Science Ride to Station app. This is an app where students go through the different components of launching a rocket. And, or building a rocket, launching a rocket, and then ultimately docking to the International Space Station. And then there's an educator guide to accompany, accompany that that has next generation science standards aligned um, activities that can go with this app. We also have digital badging through the Educator Professional Development Collaborative, EPDC, um, for both students and teachers. And then coming soon, we have our launch kit that will be released here in the next couple of weeks. That'll provide all sorts of resources and how to use them to get um, students and kiddos excited about watching the upcoming launch no earlier than mid to late May with, um, with SpaceX as our NASA astronauts are launched to the space station from American soil once again. These are just different ways you can connect with us. We, of course, we have the STEM on Station website, which there's a ton of resources to connect students and kiddos to the International Space Station. Um, we also have our CCP, our Commercial Crew Program Next Generation STEM website that houses all of the resources I just went through, except for the launch kit, which is coming soon. And then, of course, we have our broader NASA STEM engagement website, which has a, um, a super search engine to help you find exactly what kind of activity you're looking for. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you'll see jsc-stem1station at mail.nasa.gov. That's our broader email inbox that we all have access to, and then my personal work email, um, which is jessica.i.sane at nasa.gov. Like I said, please don't hesitate to reach out, and I am so appreciative that you joined my virtual presentation today.